Hi, this is Nick in 3WG, and in this video we're going to be taking the first look at the Pig Remote, which is um, an open system for remote station control. Um, back when I created Pigtail, uh, after a few months the request started coming in for audio. Um, so this is basically Pigtail with audio plus some other stuff. So this little box here inside is an embedded Linux system as well as an audio codec and an RF data module. So let's, uh, let's take the top off of it. So it's built around the Beagle Bone, which is uh, from a company called Circuit Co. Uh, it uses the Texas Instruments OMAP processor. Uh, this big green board is a motherboard that I made, and the little green board is an audio codec daughter board that I made. Um, this is all surface mount. The motherboard is mostly just traces to connect everything. And then this is our serial port with a uh, level shifter here. So we have audio in and out, Ethernet, power. Uh, this little USB port is the terminal, uh, basically to get a shell on the Linux system. Uh, the audio board comes out, if for whatever reason it needs to. And then this RF data module uh, I'll talk about a little bit later. Uh, but basically what this allows you to do is um, completely control your station remotely with streaming audio bi-directionally. Um, the, there's a, a whole suite of apps that's being developed for it um, for discovery, streaming audio, um, rig control, as well as environment control. Uh, so that's what this little RF module is for. Uh, this is going to talk to a board that's being created by CR Radio Systems, uh, the folks that created Hamstack. Uh, so they're going to have a board in a similar enclosure, um, not same size, but uh, same texture and look. Um, that has this same module in it and this uh, these basically this module and the module in their device will talk to each other um, so you can turn things on and off um, check transmitted power levels etc you can do a lot of cool stuff with it um, so like I said there's a whole suite of apps across the majority of operating systems out there uh, so far I have the streaming audio working on Windows Mac Linux Android and iOS um, and I'm going to demo each one of those um, throughout the rest of this video. So I'm going to pause for a second and get everything plugged in and, uh, and show you what it looks like. So here on the table I have a, uh, a little Wi-Fi router. This is the power supply for the KX3. And then I have everything plugged in here. Uh, so Ethernet, power, audio out, audio in, and then the serial port. And that's all going into cables from the... Um, the cable packet option from Elecraft. So this is a Windows laptop. The first application we're going to look at is called PR Discover. Um, so there's, uh, like I mentioned, a bunch of individual apps. Um, so this is the Discovery app. Um, so the the Pig remote device is broadcasting itself out every few seconds, um, so you can find it because there's um, the the USB connector that's on the BeagleBone, you can plug into that to figure out the IP address, but uh, this will be a little bit quicker. Um, on the uh, the Linux operating system that's on uh, the Pig Remote device is um, is very customized, and I've written a lot of applications for what we're doing here, um, like the uh, the Pigtail functionality is built in there, the streaming audio, this discovery um, is also in there, and it's all running as services. Um, which can be restarted and stopped. Um, for example, if I open up the browser here, and surf to it, um, so it, it has all the settings that can be manipulated, all the services can be restarted, um, you can change baud rates, change the audio settings, etc. Alright, so we're up and listening. Um, that's the IP address of the Pig Remote device. And let's take a look at uh, audio. So 
So that audio you hear now is coming from the KX3. And it's bi-directional, so as I'm speaking right now, it's actually being transmitted to the KX3. And uh, if I had Vox turned on, it would actually broadcast that. Alright, so this is the streaming audio. It's, uh, it's just a small app. Like I said, it's a suite of applications um, to distinguish each individual function. The next thing we're going to look at, and I turned the volume down there because I have some, some interference from my neighbor. Uh, you can probably hear that. Started this morning. Anyway, uh, the KX3 UI. So this is also a, a new development. This is a, a Windows version of the KX3 UI application. Had to stop the video there because I ran out of space on the card. Uh, so this is KX3 UI. Um, here in settings, I've already configured the IP address of the device. Um, I have the use pigtail box checked. And I'll hit start. So this frequency, everything you see on the screen is coming from the KX3 right now and it's entirely wireless. Uh, so all the commands are being sent by this application to the pig remote device which is sending it out the serial port to the KX3 and vice versa. So it's the, the pigtail um, application within the pig remote is basically a TCP to serial bridge written in C. Uh, so if I send a message so this audio is coming from the monitor function of the radio which is um, it's set, uh, set pretty low right now but um, that uh, it's echoing that audio that it's actually being transmitted out back to the user. In this case, because it's going out the headphone jack, it's going into the pig remote and being streamed using um, standard VoIP protocols to get it back to the computer here. Uh, this application will be will be out in a, a few weeks or so and it should be available at pignology.net. And uh, CW. I'm still tweaking audio settings a little bit. The um, the codec I'm using for the audio compression is Speaks, and um, pure tones um, can get a little distorted when you compress it. So um, that's Windows. Let's take a look at something else. Alright, so this is Android. This application, PR Audio, I've written. Um, and all this uh, audio stuff is based off PJ SIP which is an open source um, VoIP library. So all of the PR audio apps um, to comply with licensing requirements will be open source as well. Um, so hopefully that fosters some development amongst some of you. All right, so this is starting up the audio stream. Alright, so the audio is going, and it is bi-directional. Um, and actually, the, um, the recorded audio that you heard when I sent the USB message um, was actually recorded using this streaming audio. So I actually spoke into this phone and recorded it on the KX3. Um, so here I'm in Hamlog, and uh, the same pigtail functionality works in here. So we'll set it to talk to the pigtail, add a contact, and you can see the frequency came in there. That's from the KX3, and if I push the pigtail button, now oh, this is all my control interface. The um, the protocols and 
methods to talk to all these various applications I've written on the pig remote are going to be documented as well so um, uh, like I said I, I'm calling it an, an open system uh, because I want people to write stuff for it just because uh, I think it would help the community so let's, uh, let's send a message here let's go to USB And CW. So that's Android, and now let's take a look at iOS. Okay, this is an iPad 3. This white icon is the PR audio icon or application. I haven't put the icon on it yet. Uh, this is all still very much in development. All right, so here we have um, just a basic app uh, we can discover. Um, the IP didn't change because it's uh, it was being used before. The um, the local switch there uh, I'm not going to talk about here in this video, but um, it will be documented in the documentation about what that means and how to use it. Um, on that same note, the uh, the audio and rig control stuff that you're seeing here works from across the internet as well. Um, I've tested it on 3G and 4G um, on the Sprint network and AT&T. Uh, it works when both sides are behind NAT. Um, the audio is point to point, so it's uh, there's not a hosted VoIP solution like Skype. Um, it's more along the lines of remote rig, where your device is talking directly to the Pig remote device for that streaming audio. And uh, actually for the, the actual streaming audio, you don't have to open any ports uh, in your router. Uh, it's using something called Symmetric RTP, um, which you can look up if you're interested. All right, so let's connect. And we're connected, you can hear the audio there. And we're gonna open up Hamlog. You can see the top status bar there is red because there's a background audio task running. So this is all very much um, like what you've seen in the pigtail videos. I have Elecraft and KX3 selected. This 10.0.0.2 right here is the pig remote device. So that same discovery uh, that you saw with that PR Discover app works here in Hamlog as well. Uh, so we're going to select that and go back and add a contact. If you touch the red bar, it'll go back to the app that's actually um, doing it. So. Let's add a contact. This error message that popped up here is just because I don't have an internet connection. The frequency and mode there came from the radio. And we will open up the pigtail interface. And let's go to USB. And it's in that same message. This is November 3 Whiskey Golf. November 3 Whiskey Golf. Testing, testing, testing. Or CW. So that's iOS. The um, all these same applications have been written for Mac as well. Um, my Mac is busy at the moment, so I can't show you those. But um, but they are there and they do work. And all these apps are going to be free um, to talk to the Pig Remote device. Um, so these should be ready to go for Dayton. Um, if not, Visalia. Uh, maybe I'm hopeful that I'll have some at Visalia. Um, but we'll see. There's, uh, there's a lot of documentation I need to do to, uh, to get it ready for, um, for people to actually use it. So, that's Pig Remote. It's, uh, it's coming soon. So I'm interested in your thoughts. Please let me know what you think. Thank you.